right now on ABC 15 News at 10. It's the video shocking the nation. Tonight, members of our community are speaking out after video shows Glendale police repeatedly tasing a man. Plus, a message of peace and unity. Tonight, the head of the LDS Church speaking to a packed house right here in the valley. And psychedelic solutions, the push to legalize new drugs to help people dealing with PTSD. But first, the disturbing body camera video brought to light by our ABC 15 Arizona investigators showing Glendale police tasing a man repeatedly during a traffic stop has now been viewed more than a million times since it was posted on the ABC 15 Arizona Facebook page on Friday. Tonight, we are hearing from community members on this developing story and ABC 15's John Treeweiler joining us with the very latest. And this is really inspiring some people to take action. It really is, Danielle. You're absolutely right. We had a chance to catch up with two community activists this evening. One of them is behind organizing tomorrow's demonstration outside Glendale Police Headquarters, but they were both shocked, disturbed, and knew something had to be done when they saw this video. No matter how many times we show you this video, it's hard to watch. Just like Redeem Robinson when he saw it Friday night for the first time. Beat up right in front of his children and uh, see the children get, uh, react like that. It was one of the most horrific things I've ever seen. A video that has been viewed more than a million times on the ABC 15 Facebook page and a video that with no surprise has sparked public outrage. I knew we had to do something. We had to speak up and we had to make sure that folks knew uh, this isn't this isn't acceptable. Both men say they're organizing tomorrow at Glendale Police Headquarters with about 50 to 100 others to get their message out and let the city of Glendale know they won't stand for this and nobody should. If Mr. Wheatcroft's actions were um, out of line, and I don't know that they were, I think he was within his rights, but if they were, it doesn't even deserve to be in the same conversation as what he suffered. Even calling this matter a safety issue until Officer Matt Schneider, the one who tased Wheatcroft, Croft is pulled off the force. I will not go into Glendale knowing that this officer is on the streets patrolling. Um, he could do that to me. He could do that to anyone. Now that demonstration is set to start at 4 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow outside Glendale Police Headquarters. All are welcome. The last time we heard from Glendale Police was on Friday afternoon. Their original statement, the Glendale Mayor's Office, has not provided any comment on this matter after multiple requests over the weekend. Danielle. All right, John Trueweiler continuing our coverage tonight on that story. Thank you, John. And ABC 15 aired more than six minutes of that incident as it was recorded by the officer's body-worn camera. We offered Glendale Police the opportunity to explain the incident, their internal investigation, and why they chose to take disciplinary action against the officer. Glendale Police decided to issue a news release to explain that incident, but the explanation in that news release is not consistent with their internal affairs investigation. Our offer is always open, and we are available at any time to speak with the officers involved, as well as anyone from Glendale Police, the mayor and city council, and the city of Glendale's management staff. ABC 15 stands by our reporting and will continue to follow this story to its conclusion. You can count on ABC 15 to bring you the very latest from tomorrow's press conference and planned protest on air, online, and on the ABC 15 mobile app.